engagement with others. Too much social media can also lead to poor sleep patterns and a lower quality of sleep. If social media is affecting you this way, it's probably negatively affecting your health. Maybe it's time to unplug and take some time off or at least decrease the amount of time you are spending on social media. By nature, the ancient Egyptian was a lover of joy, a fun seeker, and also a merry man. So in his daily life, he didn't only care about the religious sides of his life and cults, which is evident in the amount of monuments he left behind that reflect his creeds and religious thoughts, but he cared also about joy and laughter, and he was really optimistic and gave everything its share of care. The ancient Egyptian left us numerous evidences picturing festivals and dancing and singing and playing music with proofs of fine art and great taste which characterize the Egyptians since the oldest ages. Not a single complete tomb of a nobleman or one of the high officials of the state is empty of scenes of dancing and singing and playing music in front of the deceased. The festivals in ancient Egypt were numerous and were celebrated for various reasons. Some of these feasts were celebrated all across the country or in a certain city and they varied between official feasts or religious feasts or funerary or seasonally or annual ones. The ancient Egyptian used the word Heb to express a feast. The feast was a relief through which the Egyptians expressed their wishes and high hopes. Thus, they were keen on performing its rituals with great religious dedications. In spite of the existence of many and diverse non-Egyptian festivals, yet the information available about their feasts are not complete but they could be completed and brought in a complete picture by gathering all sources and scattered evidences about these feasts and the reasons and their characteristics. <laughs>